Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Amil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. All right. Hi, I'm Jana Emil, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Joan Rich, John Smith Cafes. Dr. Rich is the Vice President of the School of Nursing, and Dr. Smith is the Vice President and Executive Director of Nursing at Rasmussen University. So we normally like to start with having our guests just share some of their backgrounds and career highlights. Uh, so John, do you want to start first? Here, Jana, I'm happy to. And uh to your listeners, you know, life is funny, the direction that it takes you sometime. And I grew up the son of a physician thinking to myself, I'm going to get as far away from medicine as I possibly can. I ended up uh, in higher education uh, after, after being an entrepreneur, have taught, have coached, and have spent time in administration. And uh, I actually got a chance to partner up with Dr. Rich here about uh, seven years ago. So I've been here at the institution at the university for about 10 years. Yes, and I always loved healthcare. I started out as a hospital volunteer as a teenager. And uh, then I, when I, I went into nursing, I knew I wanted to be a nurse and got my bachelor's. At, and then I worked in a practice setting in uh, newborn intensive care, pediatric intensive care, and the emergency department. So I evidently, I like that high paced uh, environment, which is good because that's what Rasmussen University is all about. We go fast and furious, but we're very excited in all the innovations we, we are able to do. I've always loved pediatrics and had the opportunity to uh, get my license as a school nurse. And I worked with teen moms and their babies in a clinic as I did uh, education for a pediatric nurse practitioner. And then I knew that I really uh, enjoyed the teaching piece of it. And I was able to be a public health nurse consulting, working on immunization policies in our state, and also working with the homeless shelter uh, healthcare initiatives in our state. And that's what really kind of got me in academics is um, you really do, as, as a nurse, as you know, you really get to do a lot of teaching with your patients, with families, in communities. You know that we have a lot of students, um, you know, that are listening right now, a lot of people that are early in their career that are health professionals. And I would love to hear what your advice to them is about meeting the challenges of this moment and approaching their career in healthcare. Sure, I'll take it first. I, you know, I think that individuals that are successful in their career are individuals who have been able to align their vocation with their advocation, their calling with their livelihood. And I think there's a reason that the nursing profession is one of the, you know, is typically the, the most trusted profession uh, in the world. It, I think it's because many nurses are following their heart uh, and really going into something that they are, that they are called to do. Um, I think that's that's the biggest charge, the biggest challenge uh, to you know the next generation of nurses or individuals that are just entering that profession, is you know keep following your heart and following the charge um, to take care of others, uh, to 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 do what is that that thing that fills you up. John, that was great. That was perfect, and uh, we certainly. Sometimes we say we share a brain together and, and I couldn't agree more that really you have to have that passion for nursing. I would say the challenge is please don't go into nursing because there's a nursing shortage and the pay is good. I would say please avoid that because I know there are people that need that job and are wondering what to do, but I always had that passion. I'm sure you did too, Jonah. And John's wife is a nurse too, and I know she's got the passion. But you must have that passion in your heart. And I'm a person of faith, and I believe you go where your heart leads and you do the best you can every day because that's what nurses do. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. 
To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.